So here we have a Minneapolis door that's already mounted in one of our simulators that we showed you earlier. So we have the frame in the doorway, the fans in the cloth, uh, the gauge is ready to go, it's all hooked up, speed control over here. Now when we turn this fan on, air is going to blow in to the outdoors or from indoors to outdoors and we're going to expect the cloth to expand in this direction which is exactly what it's doing because we're creating a negative pressure in the house which is where we're standing compared to a positive pressure outside. So we're going to talk about how the door fan or the blower door actually works. How does it measure flow? Right now the fan is running, it's blowing air outside. We've got a negative pressure inside the house of about minus 16 pascals. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a big restrictor plate on here because it makes it a bit easier to understand. Clip some of these clips to hold it in place. So behind this plate we have a negative pressure. The greater the negative pressure created by the fan, the more air that flows through it. So right now the negative pressure here is minus 17. If this pressure goes up, then obviously the air going through the fan is going to be greater. So as we turn the fan up, we see that this negative pressure becomes even greater. So the really easy principle to understand about door fan operation is the harder we suck on the hole, the more air that goes through the hole. So how hard we're sucking on the hole gets picked up by these pressure points, goes up through this tube, goes up to the red tube and goes all the way up to here. So the gauge on channel B is measuring how hard we're sucking on the hole. So that's usually the second measurement we're taking a look at. The first measurement is how much pressure are we creating in the house by causing that flow. And that's this one over here. So I will show you very quickly how we translate the flow pressure or the fan pressure in here into flow. And that's quite simple. So again we turn it on. We have a negative pressure in the house of minus 18. We've got a fan pressure of minus 38, so it's minus 38 over here. We're on the B ring, so all that we need to do is to change the mode to say CFM and then change the configuration to match the configuration that we have, which is in this case B and it's now telling us that 370 CFM are flowing through this fan. So we've converted that fan pressure or flow pressure in here to a flow. So again it's come from here up through the red tube up to here. It's converted that into 360, 370 CFM and the pressure that we have in the house is the same as it was before. So it's taken 360, 370 CFM to create this pressure in the house.